I want you to go to that dark water right over there, okay. shooting it. Mm -hmm. That current's got a lot of fish. There you go. Leave it there. Small How good was that? Left. How great was that? That was one of your best. Uh huh. That was a great target. The same. Leave it there. Oh, eat it. Eat it. There he is. Set. Oh, you weren't quick enough. It's okay. You don't see that? Yeah, I saw it. Leave it, men to the back. Leave it. Perfect. Just leave it there. You're gonna make your next cast towards that current mm -hmm. on the left. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, shoot it to that current. Leave it there, perfect. When he bites, I want you to get him. Strip a little bit in. There you go, right there. That little bit matters. Fish, go back, mend. Other way, fish. No. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> that counts. That was awesome. That, that, poor, that poor fish. I can't even whip that. That was the fastest you've seen him move all day. a longtime realtor. I'm her husband, Mark, a television news anchor. Together, we've started a podcast. And we want to hear from you. So, let's, let's talk. talk. What just happened there? Mark, I got excited. I got excited. Fishing. <laughs> you were fishing, you got excited. I couldn't help it. It was epic. I'm what, not what, kidding. What was that? That was a fish that came across. It was, but... And, and hit our guide? <laughs> he said he's never been hit in the face before. <laughs> By fish. Until you. Okay. Until me. I wanted to make an impression. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right in the side of his forehead. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh. Wow. It was, it was epic. It was epic. Everything we do is epic, isn't it? Same. So that was a um, up in Grand Teton National Park. Uh, you did a uh, a guided fishing trip on our basically our last day. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go. We'll go come back to that, but we're kind of kind of go back a few days. Right. Okay. Yes. So we go to here's the thing. We go to Grand Teton again. That was kind of the big surprise after our last podcast. We said, "Where are you going?" Well, three more weeks. Another podcast coming. Right. There you go. That was it. We were up in Glacier for 10 days, and um, we usually go to Aspen in the fall, end of September. Right. And I just checked airfares, and I thought, well, we didn't go to Grand Teton in the summer like we do every summer. True. So True. we decided, you know, let's go there in the fall and see the fall colors, see what's different from the summer. So we went camping again. <laughs> So we did that uh, end of September, and I decided this is going to be your trip. Mark has an addiction. <laughs> did, am I spinning that right? He's spinning it, but right. yes. Right. Your trip, though. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. That's Anytime. great. Your trip to fish. Right. And, and I did say that. Like, I can't fish in Oklahoma. There's a pond right there. Pretty big ass when was bass. The, when was the last time you fished in that pond? Tommy's right not over here there. to go with me, and people are golfing. 
right all the time okay. so you know it's not like having, i have to go when nobody's there or it's closed and it's, it's never not been the closed same thing as going up to glacier with the mountains there or grand teton with he's the not wrong majestic peaks, he's not wrong the snake river right or up in glacier the flathead river right Right. Not quite the same. Not quite the same. Right. No. So we have to go hundreds of miles away to, to do your fishing addiction. <laughs> Damn it. If I go down, you know how cold this water is? Feed in there. She's I got, got it. One. Strip, strip. Don't lift. She's going down. Strong legs, strong legs, strong legs, strong legs. <laughs> okay, so we go up there, and I said, how many times did I say, I want you to fish as often yeah, as you did. want? No, he did. Right. He did. Right. He did. And, and, and did I that. did. And I did. So it's called Fishing Not Catching with Michelle Bradshaw. Well, yeah, <laughs> for, for every day until almost the last day. Right, right. So let's kind of go over some of the places we went. So along. frustrating. Okay, and yeah. you you fish, I take pictures. We right. know that by right. now. Right, right, right. Okay, so we're up in Grand Teton in Wyoming, near Jackson, Wyoming. Mm -hmm. The river, the Snake River, beautiful river there. Right, right. So it is. many, many places to fish there. Amazing. Right, and you have your fly fishing gear. Right. And you're all set to go, and you have your waders. Super sexy. Right. Yeah. I think it is. Right. Okay. So we go to uh, many different places along the river or feeding into the river. Our favorite place to go is Cattleman's Bridge. Right. Yes. That Correct. is just below the dam, Jackson Lake, just below the dam. And why do we go there? Not just for fishing. Right. We, I love bird watching, so he takes pictures. I do a lot of bird watching. Plus, this year we got to see a lot of otters. I love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, Super scary because there was a grizzly and her cubs around. You keep talking. That's about saying, that's actually yeah. their um, their their spot. Uh -huh. They love to go yeah, into that spot. Um, yeah. But um, we just love to go there. Last year we went tubing down there. You can people yeah. get people yeah. kayak all around. It's right. beautiful. Right, and it is a photographer's oh. dream there. What do you call them? Oh. We, I did start calling them like morons or something. It was ridiculous. There well, was so I, I'm one of them. Many. Early in the morning. For geeks. You know, a couple names I have for you guys. Right. Early in the morning. You right. got to get there even before the sun rises. And boy, it was beautiful there with the mist over the river. It was. The sun was. coming up in the background there. Moments that I would and, never forget. And you've got uh, a couple dozen photographers with their tripods and their big long lenses and what were we waiting for we were waiting for the elk to go across the river right. but we, we waited many different places many different mornings for that didn't we, we didn't get that shot but no and they didn't either but that at that morning. time we did get some really cool shots of eagles osprey just going fishing. after the fish yeah, right. fishing Ca right. yeah, I, catching. a good shot here of uh, osprey catching. catching the fish and flying away and then the, and then the otters the otters were playful. They were we fun. loved the river otters. So that right. was that was a great spot. But we spent even in the evening there a lot. Remember the time we spent at least two or three hours mm -hmm. waiting for the elk to cross the river. Right. And we we hear them. Oh, you can hear them. They're they're, they're right over there. We don't. Yeah, they're bugling. They sound like they're right there. They're bugling right that now. That could be a couple hundred yards away. Because they're. They're uh, they're horny. Right. It's mating season. And, and and we just waited there along with all the other photographers, mm -hmm. waiting for that moment. Right. And, and they never came. So no. it's one of those things where it's hit and miss. Right. You have to be at the right place at the right time. And it's kind of like we were we were down at a place called Schwabacher Landing on our very last day. We were looking this way for moose. <laughs> right. Right. And this is no joke. People are looking that way, and all of a sudden we see. The as we're leaving, as we're leaving, the rangers right. coming up. Everybody's people are gathering over there because there was a grizzly a with grizzly their cubs, cubs that some hikers had seen that we missed. That we missed. So, so everybody was flocking to that spot yeah. to maybe get a shot of the grizzly and the cubs, and yeah. they, they they closed off the area, and we couldn't we couldn't go chasing after the grizzly. I know that's we, disappointing, though. We tried. I know. Right. Uh, so back to uh, Cattleman's Bridge, 
a beautiful area. We would eat breakfast there. Right, right. Just and We would just open up the van, start cooking. It was great. I love doing that. It's one of my favorite things and to I'll do. And I'll be taking pictures. So you did some fishing there. Mm -hmm. Remember that time we, and this is right after there was a bear sighting, maybe the day before, mm -hmm. a grizzly going across the river. Right, right. So we, that's not the grizzly, that's our neighbor's dog. Raya. And Raya. And so we went fishing and we walked. Did we have the bear spray? You had the bear spray. I always have the bear spray. Right. Not as much as when we were in Glacier. We, yeah. we were kind of let down our guard a little bit, and you shouldn't do that. No. no. Glacier, mm. everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. It was crazy at Glacier. So we were, we were going to this point um, off of um, the Snake River where a lot of people kayak. And at were, Cattleman's. At Cattleman's, mm -hmm. and you were doing some fishing. Right. And you came across some bear tracks. They were. Right. I made you take pictures right, of them. Here they are right here. They were. They were bear tracks. Right. So you're fishing and with no luck, right? But you you did every once in a while stop and go, did you hear that? What do you think that is we heard? Well, if it's a moose, I don't care. You suck. There's so many animal prints. Let's get the hell out of here, okay? I'm serious. This isn't cool. This is their place. So maybe <laughs> there was something out there. So after after about 10 or 15 minutes, we decided, let's get out of here. Yeah. It was getting to be, the sun's going to be going down. Yeah. We thought, uh, let's not get caught. Mark thought, Michelle runs faster than me, so we probably should leave. What fly are you using now? Another place we fish is called Actually, Dead Man's I Bar. I showed it to you up close. It was, it was pretty. It's cool. Like when it comes through the through the water, it kind of like its wings kind of go doo -doo 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 -doo, like that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's where they put out a lot of the the drift boats and the the, the rafters go from there. Right. Great place to fish. Yeah. So somebody right next to me was doing a great job. You you were getting a little frustrated. I'm a trier. Right. I always have the camera on just in case she catches a fish. Or just in case I fall into the river. Right. Because I'm the one doing the work. I'm in I'm in the rapids. It's hard carrying that camera. I'm everywhere. in the rapids. You are. In my sexy outfit. Right, and your waders. In my waders. Is it slippery out there? Super duper slippery. I'm not kidding. I mean I'm gonna be like forty five next month, so I don't wanna fall Speaking and break of a hip. sexy. What was that hat you were wearing? Very expensive hat, Mark. These are designers. I got it in Aspen. I don't really ski naked. It's just like, it's a cool hat. That's it. Yeah. I do feel sorry for the old couple that I walked by. And then I forgot I had it on. So, I apologize. <laughs> They'll never be the same. <laughs> Next place was another river nearby, the Grovant River. Mm -hmm. And what I, I wait for you to say it every time. Go ahead. Grossmont. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, is that French? Yeah. Yeah. Grovant. G R O S, first word. That's gro. And V E N T R E. Gros. Right. Grovant. Grossmont. Okay. Yeah. So we, you fish there. Beautiful spot. And we were seeing the colors come out. Mm -hmm. And and before we went down there, there was a guy that was painting. Remember him? Oh yeah, Remember he was cool. Name? No, he was cool. Oh yeah, yeah I, I do. I oh, do. You do. John Hughes. Oh yeah, I got his card. Yeah, right. and John Hughes is uh, a painter. He's a local painter in was, Jackson Hole. He was just starting uh, this painting. Like nothing was on it. Nothing was on it. And by the time we came back, it was pretty much all done. I so know. I, so I talked to him. He was cool. So I'm up here for a couple of days, painting and. Just enjoying the scenery. I come up a couple of times a year. Um, right now I'm painting along the uh, Grovant River. And just a beautiful spot. He, yeah. he could have painted me in. I was right there. He didn't. Maybe he did later. Thanks, John. Okay. With a fish on the line. So, so Grovant River, which is a great uh, place to camp. You don't like it that much. 
there, there's a campground. It's called the Grobon. The campground. last time we were there, a moose put his head into the van <laughs> when couple, I was cooking. That was two or three years ago. Yeah. And that, yeah, we saw. I'm not there, kidding. There, well, it's known for moose yeah. in that area. I'm not kidding. And there's a big field there. Right. So I went out to the field one evening to get uh, find this moose, mm -hmm. and then after about 15 minutes, I see her out there. <laughs> Um, and she's out there, and I thought, what is she doing out here? What happened was, he comes, you, were, you were cooking I in the cooking, van. I was cooking, and all of a sudden, this moose puts his head into the side of the van, and I'm screaming, so he's get, he gets scared off, and he's run. So I run after him, looking for Mark. Anyways, right. I didn't even have a camera. Right. But it, but it is nothing. a good good campground there. But yeah. we've camped there a couple times. Because it's times. near the river. It's right. And you can always get a spot there. And, and the river is nice to, sh to fish at for, you right. know, some people. Right. But we like to, to camp in this campground called Signal Mountain Campground. Right. Right on Jackson. It's our Lake. favorite. And we have this campsite. Yeah, it's amazing. We got it for one night, didn't we? We did. Because the other nights we were someplace else. And then I saw, yep. oh, cancellation for one night. And we got it. It's yep. Because we have, it's great. And we got your, we got a discount, your senior pass, senior <laughs> lifetime. I'm gonna die someday. Pass. Half price. Half price. Half price. It's the best. Yeah. It's the best. With, with the view of the sunrise on the mountains and then the sunset. Right. The sunset with the silhouette of the. Uh, so the, this is what's funny. We'll be at, outside at this particular spot, and we're sitting out enjoying our spot, and people will walk by. And they'll look at us, and then they want to talk to us, and they'll say, how'd you get that spot? <laughs> That's how people are when you go camping. They are so jealous of your campsite. Right. So you know you have but, a great campsite if and, people and stop and talk to you. what did you say about next year? You better get that spot. Better get that spot. So usually, here's what you do. <laughs> usually, you pick a week you're going to go, and then and then six months beforehand, you right. try to get that right. You know, on recreation.gov, right. try to get that campsite, which you never can. Right. But n now when we're going to do it differently this next year, in February, which cheat. is six months. No, it's not cheating. We're gonna, every day at 9 a.m. Central Time, you try to get that campsite. And, right, and to the second. And I'm going to try it every day. Mm -hmm. And then once I get it, that's when we're going to go on vacation. Right. So we'll have that campsite. True. It's that important. No. Are you doing work over here Action. too? Well... Actually, what? I had an offer on a property, so <laughs> sorry. No, that's fine. Multiple. Yeah. I, I have a job, Mark. Yeah. I have to. I have to make money for Mark's addiction. Right. Yours is fishing. Right. And what's mine? Buying camera equipment and camping. <laughs> right. <laughs> or just photography. Just, yeah. Right. Just for our next trip. Vacationing. Right there. Okay. So no fish on the uh, Grovant River, but yeah, I remember you were down there tying flies. Mm -hmm. And that's hard work. Yeah, that's it is. It's tedious work. Isn't yeah, it? I'm a trier, Mark. I said this is called perseverance. This is like when you lose a deal on a house, and then you just turn around and start calling other clients until you find one. So I'm not giving up on this. This is tangled, but it's not terrible. I don't give up. Right. And just just for the record, there were two uh, men down there fishing before me, and they came right. up, and they actually sat down in their chairs and watched me. And they said, "We're going to watch you because they caught nothing." Okay, well, it's you don't always catch something. They told me where to go, where they caught nothing. Right. Well, <laughs> speaking of, I still caught nothing. Somebody said you got to go up to the headwaters. Right. Is that basically is that where the the snake Meets. Uh, begins? But it, it's up there. Know. It's up know. there, almost into Yellowstone. So it's, right, 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 right. So we went up and we. You fished there before. Yeah. But we didn't know. That's Tommy where, fished there with us. Yes, yes. We didn't know at the time that that's where we're going. And then right. we get there and we go, oh, we've been here before. Right. 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 So once again, I mean, you fish. I did. I was fishing. And you had your waders on. No catching, but just right. fishing. But but you spent a lot of time there, and it was. It, you know, tying flies, I changing lost, your flies. I lost a few flies. I did get a few bites. I did. But I was there three hours mm -hmm. doing this. Mm -hmm. Right? Getting frustrated. Oh, I'm so frustrated. Right. And I'm trying to keep my cool 
um, because there's a, a couple other fishermen over there that weren't doing very well either. But mm-hmm. they were all fl- we were all fly fishing, mm-hmm. so obviously we all sucked. Uh, and until and, and okay. Well, do you want to tell the story? No, I'm not. No, I can. I can. You tell it. So above where I'm fishing, there's um, a bridge that all the cars are going by, and I hear, Grandpa, I can see the fish down there. Well, and so could you, right? Yes. You saw, I mean, for three hours you were saying there's fish there. I know. But Grandpa says, son, go get your fishing pole. So I'm thinking, oh, God, I'm going to be invaded now. And I was right. So the kid comes down. He's probably 14. And he comes down, and he takes his spinner rod out. And, with his lure. And it went a mile. I mean, fly fishing, you kind of just, it goes out a little ways. He had a lure. If you do that, it's going to go a mile. It's easy to do that on a spin rod. Right. It's like cheating. It's not cheating. Okay. It's cheating. We have friends and we have viewers here that that fish that way. I know. Okay, that's not cheating. It's a different form of fishing. It's my opinion. Okay. Okay, so what happened? So, he, the kid throws one time and he's like grandpa i got one and he's really he's so happy the sister's there mom's there grandpa's not even there grandpa's just walking back yeah, kind of slow I, I talked to grandpa as he was coming down and i said your grandson just caught something he said oh yeah well, he always catches he does fish, that all yeah. the time yeah i basically like i didn't throw my pole down because my pole's right. a nice pole and i didn't want to look like a bad sport but immature adult. It was, it was the look I gave Bradshaw where I was right. like, "We're out of here. I'm done." Yeah, I'm you done. Got, you got, yeah, you know, shown up by a, a 15 year old with a spin rod, right? With okay. a lure, okay. shiny lure. I so mean, th- I'm not kidding. The fish he reeled in, it was big. Right. Yeah. Okay. So this is all leading up, all leading up to what you did that evening. It was a costly thing right yes because when we were up in in glacier the second day first full day we were there we we booked a a guide uh, a guide mm-hmm. and that, that was planned yeah and he was great it was great yeah i remember his name cam yeah cam was great cam williams and and, and i and, and i you caught, caught fish. you caught fish yeah but when we were going back we thought no i we're, was in we're, a boat we're we're in a, a drift boat yeah for hours and it was great yeah and, and I have a link to it right here. It was fun. So we decided, let's save some money. This is, um, l- l- let's not do it again, right? What I thought was, well, I learned so much. I right. Don't, I don't need you don't somebody need to help me. Yeah. Right. I bet. Frustration built in. And um, with technology that it is today, I did this. I need a guide in <laughs> Jackson Hole. And I came up with one guy, and he... He said he's busy, you know, he couldn't, couldn't book me. And he's like, but I got a buddy who will do it. And his buddy took me out. And that's the guy yeah. that I hit in the Don't face. Don't say his name yet because we'll let him introduce himself. <laughs> and, and, With the and, flying fish. Right. So apparently, I do have something special that most fishermen do, don't do. I can make fish fly. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that again there. Because what are we going to do? Yeah. Okay. So, so you got on the phone. Yeah. And you talked to this guy. Oh, this is funny. I didn't mean t- to do this. I just you, happened. You talked to this guy. He doesn't know who we are. We don't know who he is. Um, and, and go ahead. What, so what did he ask you? He says, well, what's the goal? I said, I just need to catch one fish. Just one. So just one fish was going to cost me about $600. Because right. that's what it costs to because go out. Because you need that picture of that one fish. Well, it's for my you're self-esteem. Gonna, right. You're going to catch it and then release it. But yeah. I'm going to take the picture right. and then people are get, Because people always ask, right. did you catch something? Everybody asks me that. Right. And you you lie sometimes, don't you? <laughs> but not this time. So okay. I have caught fish in the past. It's, right. not, it's not lying. Right. That's true. Okay. So you booked this on the, the last day of our trip there on the Snake River and we met the guy at, in the parking lot of Albertsons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's great. And we got in his truck and with his his boat in behind us there and we went to um, the Snake River at Wilson.
we're going like what did you say about 14 15 miles mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 16 miles mm -hmm. down South. the snake river mm -hmm. and it was another half day yeah. trip which if you do full day it costs like a hundred dollars more so it ended up half he was a good sport we were oh we, we did we did a long a day of time it was like a full day a lot of time yeah with us yeah he was a great guy he so was great we're, we're oh no no okay. you have a call no nope. No, no. If that's business right it now. It is, it is. I'll and just, if it's a, a sale. I'll say, can I call you later? Yeah, okay. That goes. Okay, good. So so we get in his boat, and it's it's beautiful. Okay, well, let's introduce him. Let him introduce himself now. My name is Ed Dutilly. I'm a fishing guide in Jackson, Wyoming. I'm the owner of JH Fishing, and I like to fish. So Ed. Yeah. Ed. Dutilly. Dutilly. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I think we mutually warmed up pretty quick to each other. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because he didn't know what we were like and what we wanted to talk he thought, about. I'm first, sure he thought we were wacky. First thing, he, one fish. before we before we went on the river, he, oh, I told him that I want we do it a podcast. Oh, yeah, this is funny. Right. If we do a, would you be willing if I mic you, I mic Michelle. We always have to ask permission. And... And we're, we're, you'll be part of our podcast. And he was hesitant. And he, he said, what he said? Are you, are you, are you going to ask me political oh, questions? Oh, this was funny. He said, oh, we, are you part of um, Antifa, Antifa or yeah, QAnon? Or, okay, so okay, funny. Okay, so one side or the other. It's no political things. No, nope. no, I said, all no. we want to talk I've about. I've never been political in my life. <laughs> okay all we wanted to talk about was fishing mm -hmm. that's what we wanted okay. to talk about fishing everybody can agree right. on that right we are in the snake river basically in the heart of the valley of jackson and we are fishing for the snake river fine spotted cutthroat which is the native fish ed had that one goal you had that what one goal like? for him mm -hmm. and he was pretty confident oh yes yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that does put a little pressure on him, too, doesn't it? Doesn't it? One fish? One fish. <laughs> okay. Well, it didn't come right off the bat. He did He did spend uh, quite a bit of time beforehand. Teaching me. Right. As a general rule today, you're going to cast. Mm -hmm. When you get that big loop, you bend. Mm -hmm. You strip in your slack, and you let it float. Okay. The mantra is going to be cast, mend, strip. There'll be different variations of it, of course. Mm -hmm. There's a fish chasing it right there. You know, I think I'm doing really well. I mean, he wanted to see how you cast like it. I slapped him in the face. The fish. Okay. It's the best. That didn't happen right off the bat. I guess I just forgot what he taught me. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, so we're going down the river, and of course, the river is, is gorgeous, and I'm looking for other things to to, to photograph. Yeah, to photograph. And we saw the eagles, oh, many eagles great. All along the way. Two eagles oh, sitting side by together. Side. So cute. So yeah. cute. Mm -hmm. We didn't see any bear. No. Um, no. Or elk. Right. But we went in the afternoon, so maybe that's morning. Mm -hmm. Well, and he, he just sent me a video. He was out fishing with some guys, and he had two um, moose walk in on their territory where they were fishing. They were catching a fish at the same time. There were two moose walking into the river. Yeah. That's kind of cool. You never know what you're going to see. Though. Yeah. So that's know. why I like going out yeah. there. There's only so many fish per square mile, and they only live in certain places. But in like this run, I would only fish that side or this drop. I wouldn't bother with other stuff. Okay. And if it didn't work out, I'd go somewhere else. But knowing where the trout live, that comes with experience. And time on the water is the only thing that's going to make you better at so many of the things that you want to be better at. It's fun. So, like it's I mean, time. did you learn yeah. anything else right. that like you didn't know from the, or just... It's just, you know what, when you're, when you're casting, you have to strip, right? There's, it's, it's, you know, it's, you're not just not using both your hands, but you're not putting them together. You know, you're stripping. Okay. Okay. That reminds me of something. Many times, you had many fish on the line. Yeah, yeah. You had, what do they call, a bite? Mm hmm Okay. Mm -hmm. And what would you do? Yank it. Oh, my gosh. And I've got this on, on camera as well. You would take both hands and just immediately yank that rod. I got excited. Let's see if we can get one right there. Good job being ready. Fish. So 
So that time I didn't tell you to strip in. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to drift and that fish surprised us. Fish. Strip, 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 strip. Rod tip. I lost okay, it. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. You got excited. And, and Ed would just say, what is it? You don't need both hands yeah. to do that. So you would lose it. Right. But I did hook it. You totally did. I totally hooked it. I know, but like, I just getting, got excited. getting the girl's number isn't enough. <laughs> we at least have to get them on a date. What's that feeling like? Oh, it's the best. Really? When I don't you... think there's anything else that I ever do in life that's better than that. Okay. <laughs> but that happened several times, so you had to calm down. I did. When, when that bite we'll comes, I know. and you had many times, right and you caught several bone. fish. Uh -huh. I've seen several fish feed in there. She I got, got it. Strip, strip, don't lift. Now okay. slowly strip. Point the rod tip away from the current. Don't strip in that much more. Chill. Keep pointing to the right. He's fighting it. Keep pointing to the right. Now lift up your rod tip and let some line out at the same time. Keep the bend in the rod, but we're changing the angle of the dangle. So let me take the hook out of the fish, and then you guys uh, do me a favor. There's a, give me a second. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the anchor down. Just keep holding onto that boat. I got it. One foot. I know, but I can't trust everybody with the boat. Hold on to this. Make sure we know where our hook is. You can get extra footage of a beautiful cutthroat. I love it. And hours and hours and hours and hours, but it's so much better when you catch something. So today we went catching, not just fishing. But let's get to now, let's get to the flying fish. Right. I love okay. I love that the fact that he says when I hit him in the face with it, that he says, that counts. <laughs> it's almost like he's just rooting me on. You relocated. Counts, Michelle. You relocated that fish, didn't you? <laughs> okay, that was the fish relocation. It would be like, what's the witness um, protection, protection plan? Yes. Okay. He got that relocated. fish was over on this side of the river, and then I know it didn't know what hit him. Okay, and all of a sudden, he's waking up over on the other side of the oh, river. Oh gosh. That counts. That was awesome. That, that, poor, that poor fish. I can't even whip that. That was the fastest you've seen him move all day. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That was awesome. That was the flying fish. It's a rare species in Wyoming. Oh, my God. But you ripped his head off. You caught you, him. You did tell me to rip his head off. I like it's, it. It was funny. It was oh, funny. No. Ed was a good guy, and I asked him he was a great sport. many questions. One was, why do you do this? What do you get out of this? Yeah. I love being on the river. I like water. I love fish. And I like meeting new people. And my job allows me to meet lots of new people. And one of my passions is actually sharing my knowledge of fishing with people that want to learn. So I, I enjoy taking beginners and people with the enthusiasm that she has displayed today. Like it's a real treat. Not every day is perfect. And it's not always easy, it is a job. But uh, I consider myself pretty fortunate and I'm grateful that I get to do this. You know, even the other day when he had texted me, he was showing me pictures of how his 11 year old fishing and he's doing such a great job. And then I said, yes, he's good, but can he make fish fly that's right and he texted me back and he said no 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 <laughs> that one was coming right at me and i'm not normally a fast person but luckily i was able to move my my ninja like reflexes only occur you only see them occasionally but i'm glad i didn't get hit by that thank you so you've heard of the of the sport fly fishing you have just invented another sport i did i did the flying fish. The flying fish, and it started right here. I know. Hey, I'm an original. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs>
High five. Yeah. You got your fish. Mark, yeah. get back in the boat. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed our podcast and thank you for spending your time with us. We'll see you next time for another episode of Let's Talk. Let's Talk.